Hi guys, we're here at CES 2023. My name's David and I'd like to introduce you to Tier 4's booth. First of all, we have on display here our automotive grade camera modules. These cameras both have LED flicker mitigation for traffic light recognition. They also have on-chip lens distortion correction. And of course, they're both high dynamic range cameras. Both of these cameras have the GMSL interface. And this one, the C1 model, has a resolution of 2.5 megapixels, whereas the C2 camera has a resolution of 5.4 megapixels. This is the ROS cube from AD-Link. We use this together with our camera modules as it has a GMSL interface, making it plug and play. This is bundled together with our perception software so that you can use it in your autonomous driving applications. So on the display here, we have a sense fusion demo. The sensors we're using in this demo are a Hearsight AT128 LiDAR together with two of our C1 cameras. On the image at the top, you can see we have object detection and tracking, and these results are being fused together with the LiDAR results. And you can also see that we're doing an early sensor fusion where the RGB from the camera images are being projected into the point cloud data. So over here we have on display our GMSL to USB converter. So this makes it really easy to use our GMSL cameras on any PC or edge processor with a USB interface. Here we have a Jetson Nano and this is being used to display a live demo for pose estimation. So here we have an autonomous cargo transport vehicle. And this is an example of implementation of one of Tier 4's reference designs. So this vehicle has been launched as a joint venture between Tier 4 and Yamaha Motors called Eve Autonomy. So this is Web.Toto. It is a software platform to develop development and operation of the autonomous driving vehicle. It is a complete CI-CD pipeline to efficiently test and validate the AD software. It is first of all integrated with this GitHub, so the developers can access the source code uh, easily and build the uh, source code on top of the cloud. Once the source code is built, uh, it can start running the testings using scenarios, maps, and also the data sets. Once the testing has been done and reviewed, uh, the software can be updated to the vehicle using OTA. Fleet management solution then uh, tracks the vehicle, actual vehicle in real time and checks whether the vehicle is um, running without problems. We also provide remote operation tools so that a remote operator can um, monitor the vehicle and also intervene if there is any uh, need to do so. The data from the actual vehicle is then collected back to the cloud, uh, annotated uh, so that the developers can use it for further uh, development activities. 